Well, this morning starting off with the tropics here and things are starting to get a little bit active, but nothing to be concerned of for us, which is good news. We have tropical storm Edward here in the North Atlantic. We have invest 98 here, which is kind of sitting over top of land on the Florida panhandle. And also we do have a tropical wave kind of well off to the east of the Lesser Antilles. Invest 98 is now sitting just about north of Panama City. Not really development next two days because it's over land, but 40% chance of development as it works its way here off the east coast of the Carolinas there right toward Virginia. Beach where it potentially could try to develop into a larger low and maybe trying to try to move into a tropical system, but it'll move out at sea, which is good news. This wave down here across the southern central Atlantic, 10% chance of development, and it's looking pretty healthy this morning, but we'll run into some wind shear eventually as it crosses the islands, so just bringing them some of that wet weather. Edward, you can see here, winds are at, uh, say, 40 as of 4 o'clock this morning. It's racing, you can see from its last position, northeast at 36, and become a still tropical storm by 1 o'clock, but shortly there after losing its tropical characteristics and just being a fish storm out in the North Atlantic. But this was the earliest we've seen the E storm or fifth name storm of the season breaking the record set back in 2005 with Emily. So uh, pretty impressive to see that already so far this year. You can see as for Invest 98 again sitting basically right over top of land. That's going to continue working its way through parts of the Georgia and the Carolinas before moving up the eastern seaboard here potentially as an area low pressure, but no threat to us. We are indirectly dealing with some rain from it. Right now we just have some cloud cover out there. It's pretty muggy. You can see the storms near Homa area back towards say Galliano, Jean Lafitte area and more storms from dissolvements back over toward Donaldsonville, which is kind of what we're watching to see if there is any training or heavy rain, but the rest of the area dry, at least for the moment. But later this morning, we'll see the storms moving through town, continuing through the afternoon hours as well with some heavy rain potentially across the area. So do be prepared for that to continue across the area for today. 88 degrees, 89 tomorrow. Chance of rain gradually decreases down to 20% by Thursday with a high of 92.